Well, this is a bit odd. I'm reporting to you live from a 2017 Ford F-350 Super Duty? Dually. I don't know how I got here, but okie dokie, let's hit it. Oh man, this thing is huge! What can I run over? Like, how many people, cars? I'm at a Ford press event where they brought out several vehicles. I just got out of the Ford Focus RS and into the F-350 Super Duty, which is an odd juxtaposition to say the least. Uh, what can I tell you about it? I don't have a window sticker in front of me, but I've been assured this truck is very expensive. I don't doubt that. It actually feels like quite a quality item. It has a lot of features I'm not used to in my used sports cars that I tend to buy. I have the air-conditioned seats on, which is frankly excellent. All modern cars need this. It has the full nav, uh, multi-angle backup camera. Uh, this has a pretty nutty towing package, so it's telling me all about my um, my, my off-road status, my, my angle of attack, my, my trailer angle, if I had a trailer, the whole deal, any tilt the car's experiencing, your truck, I guess. Is this thing? All right, I'm gonna floor it and see if this thing goes fast. Here we go. That was a bit embarrassing. It turns out if you try to shift the truck manually, it locks you into the gear. Like for example, I put it into first and it locked me in first. Maybe that's for towing? I'm not entirely sure, but that's a bit embarrassing if you're just trying to get off out of the hole and you kind of get stuck in first gear. Oh, I didn't watch the boost gauge. Oh, the most important part. to get on it and watch the boost gauge. I've caught my coworker in the Ford Focus RS. I wonder if I can race him. Well, more importantly, I wonder if he'll be able to tell I'm racing because this truck, it's adequately fast for a truck, but it's still an F-350 massive truck. It's not. It's definitely far away from a street racer until you throw a tune and a downpipe at it and make it roll coal on everyone. I will say most of my truck experience... Go, baby, go. Oh, that's pretty quick. I will say most of my truck experience have been mainly in like 1500s, so small trucks. This ride's appreciably less trucky than I was expecting. It's obviously not smooth as silk. It's still a big ass truck, but it's not bad. So it's kind of funny driving this thing on the highway because Ford has rather intelligently scaled the speedometer for the relative speeds this truck is gonna go. So on the far end, it goes from zero miles an hour to the other end, which is 100. So it seems pretty nutty if you just look down, if you glance down at the gauge really fast that you're like two thirds of the way through the gauge and you're like, oh, I'm only going to 65. Okay. Equally odd is that, you know, we're cruising at 65 right now. The car is in probably presumably top gear. It revs to 4,000, but it's already at 2,000. You'd think they'd have this thing like idling down the freeway for the fuel economy. You know, maybe it's here, I'm just not seeing it, but I don't see like a fuel economy setting. Ah, here we go. Let's toggle through our, toggle through our options here. This truck, which is admittedly a press truck, is averaging nine miles to the gallon. Not great. What I'm gonna do, we're going 55 miles an hour, I'm gonna punch it. Take down, takes a second. Oh wow, that's not, that is not slow, and it has a lot 
lot of mass to throw around. But it gets going, it gets going. The transmission seems a bit dopey, but I guess it kind of has to be when you're dealing with an engine with this much torque and this much power. You can make it, you know, shift too violently or shift too sharp, sharply, you might break something. I'll be the first to admit, I'm not a big truck guy. Um, a truck for me is just a means to tow a race car to the track. So I'm a bit out of my element here, but this thing has, well, as is typical for most press cars, pretty much every single option they could possibly throw at it, and I'm impressed with this thing. Traction control off. Yes. Very good. Or just some burnouts. Does the F350 Super Duty also have drift mode? to my mass. I'm so large and in charge. You small peasant cars don't stand a chance. This thing, it's basically the auto automotive equivalent of Nicki Minaj. So it's a bit unwieldy to drive, I should say. Oh my god. Also like Nicki Minaj. All that cushion, all that pushing. So come. See, I wonder how much of this is actually going to be usable footage and it's just me talking bullshit.